What do most American mass shootings have in common? White male culprits. This is when you know your identity politics has gone too far, when you use the school shootings and the deaths of 17 people to justify your disdain for not just an entire race, but an entire gender as well. I do apologize. The levity of my usual videos will not be here today. This has uh, significantly vexed me to my core. And uh, you'll be getting a thoroughly angered Weibo today. Today we'll be hitting all of the radical left-wing talking points that you all know and love. As we watch the heartbreaking aftermath of America's latest mass shooting, what we must acknowledge is what they have in common. First, in most of the shootings, the culprits, including the alleged shooter in Thursday's massacre at Mayor Joy Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, used or owned AR-15 assault weapons that shouldn't be in the hands of anyone except military troops abroad. And the first talking points we have right out of the gate are gun control. <laughs> you don't get to make that call. In fact, if there is to be a discussion on the issue itself, it's going to be something where everyone is involved. And if you know anything about current statistics, with regards to gun control in that respect, it's pretty split. But I'm not here to debate gun control with you. Second, most of the culprits of the worst mass shooting since the massacre at Columbine High School in 1999 have been white males. So what's your solution? That we should just ban the birth and maturation of white males in the United States except for the use of military abroad as well? And for all of you who just set your hair on fire or ran to pick up your phone to call and scream at me that I'm a racist, I do not contend that these boys and men shot up schools or movie theater or church because they are white. I contend that America continues to allow it because they are white. You're a special brand of absolute delusion nut job, aren't you, hun? Now, I won't deny that most mass shooters in the U.S. are white males as of this graph, and as you can see of the 96 shootings, 54 were conducted by white men. Now, out of context, this may seem rather exacerbated. That's 56% of all shootings that are conducted by white men. However, when taking into account the demographics of the population of the United States, you must remember that 73% of the population happened to be white. So it's actually an underrepresentation of what statistically would be the ideal, which is a weird way to phrase it, I, I gather. But I say that in a mathematical sense, not in a real-world sense. Ideally, in a real-world sense, we would have no active shooter incidences or mass shootings, but, well such as life. Because you can be damn sure that if these shootings had been done by black males, there would be calls to round up the young black men across the country until we could determine what was wrong with them, or until we, the collective we, which means the white we, felt safe. There would be some change in gun laws. There would be action. And it would be a major continuing news story rather than one forgotten by someday. You really think that we don't do anything about these, do you? According to FBI statistics and act shooter cases from 2000 to 2013, 17 or 10.6% of the 160 ac incidences where an active shooter was involved, the shooter committed suicide at the scene right after law enforcement arrived, but before officers could actually act. 45 or 28.1% of the 160 incidents involved law enforcement officers and shooters exchanging gunfire. Now, of those 45 incidences, the shooter was killed at the scene in 21 of them, killed at another location in 4, wounded in 9, and committed suicide in 9, and surrendered in 2. 64 or 40% of the shooters ultimately committed suicide. Most shooters were males acting alone, only 2, of the 160 incidences had more than one shooter, and only six involved a female shooter. 17 of them committed suicide, that leaves 143, and of those 143, 45 returned fire with the cops, 20 which were in fact killed. It is almost as if we want to forgive these men who, for days after their crimes have been referred to as broken or troubled. What? What fucking shit for reality version of our country are you living in, breathing in? Because I know it ain't mine. What company do you surround yourself with? Because that's that's not been my impression of anything at all. 
people who go around shooting up public spaces for who fucking knows what reason are fucked in the head psychopaths with dick all excuses and whack nut brain chemistry. I am too pissy to be scientific right now, but you get my drift. No one is fucking defending this fucker or any one of these other fuckers. Not a one. Providing an explanation as to how he could have possibly gotten to this point in his life does not excuse his actions in the fucking slightest. They're sure as hell broken. Fucked up in the head. Batshit insane, if that helps the case. How about those terms? Seems a little bit devoid of empathy enough for you, right? It's not good to be broken. Same with troubled. If you want to criticize the soft language brought on by the PC culture we live in today, be my fucking guest. But don't you think for a second that language use is evidence of giving some fucknut a pass. <laughs> so when a shot and killed 20 children, six teachers, his mother, and himself at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, in 2012, using an AR-15, we moved on. We thought that would be the incident, and that would change things. He murdered babies just learning to read books and solve math problems. Children still leaving teeth for the tooth fairy and giving their wishes to Santa Claus, but we moved on. You... Dick Wumpus, he fucking killed himself. What do you want from people? To string up the body for all to see and have people take turns telling his corpse off? <laughs> Will that help you cope? Now let's be specific with the use of guns here. He used, in fact, a Bushmaster XM15E2S and a Glock 20SF. It's a little bit different than what you're reporting, isn't it? After took a handgun and shot nine African-American parishioners to death while they prayed at the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in downtown Charleston and was treated to a hamburger by authorities on the way to jail, we moved on. That fucker is a walking dead man as he has been sentenced to lethal injection by a court of law. I'm sorry if that process is a little lengthy for you, but he'll spend the rest of his days locked behind bars awaiting the end. So I'm not too concerned if they gave him a burger? They gave fucking Gacy KFC when he was getting lethally injected, so... Oh well. After he shot 99 people, 49 fatally at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando in 2016, using an AR-15, we moved on. Even after retired accountants shot 909 outdoor concert goers in Las Vegas, 58 of them fatally, and using an AR-15, we moved on. Even after he shot 26 people to death at Sutherland Springs, Texas Church in 2017 using an AR-15. We moved on. Again, a dead man, another dead man, and another dead man. Each, in turn, shot to death, either by their own hands or someone else's. And, uh, for that matter, the Orlando guy used a successor MCX rifle. Texas guy used a Ranger AR-556 semi-automatic rifle. And the Vegas guy had a whole fucking arsenal of guns. Was a 19-year-old former student at Mayor Jury Stoneman Douglas High School, a student who had been expelled and who gave enough warning signs that someone should have seen it coming, went back to his old school and opened fire with semi-automatic, yep, you guessed it, AR-15 rifle. By Thursday evening's news, death, the death toll had reached 17. We cannot move on. This is in the running to face the death penalty, so that should satisfy you. Furthermore, he used a Smith & Wesson M&P-15. Now, fun fact with Weibo. I am obligated to explain to you a thing or two, but I gotta make a disclaimer first because I'm no expert about guns, more of a novice, but even a novice can tell you that an AR-15 and an AR-15 style gun does not unilaterally mean the same thing. They might look like military weapons, but they are not, only firing a single round per pull of the trigger. Furthermore, per each manufacturer, they come in a range, a range of calibers as well as configurations. So. You might want to look into that. When you say AR-15 style, that could mean a whole host of different guns, you disingenuous twit. That is what must happen next. First, we must take these shootings seriously and not continue to ignore them. Again, what deluded version of our reality is it that you live in? How do we fucking ignore that? Because they're being done by depraved young white men, we must be up in arms. If they weren't white, we'd be up in arms. That's not racist. That is based on historical fact. What fucking historical fact? I'm sorry? 
Changing how people get guns, keeping guns from the mentally ill, and weapons of war off American streets are not impossible dreams. Second, we must stop treating black males like murderers when they sell cigarettes on the street corner or mass murderers if they are involved in a fight or like drug dealers if they're caught smoking marijuana and sending them away for long prison sentences while we do nothing to stop the scourge of mass shootings that has claimed thousands of victims. Well, you know, the amount of media attention and notoriety given to each and every shooter ever doesn't necessarily help your cause. You know what you're doing? You're immortalizing those monsters for their would-be monsters to look up to, giving them something to embrace in terms of an identity. If a suicide in a school can cause up to two copycats via suicide contagion, what do you think a mass media attention of a shooter of such a tragedy would do to a nation of impressionable young people? Honestly. That's why I blocked out the names of those sick fucks you mentioned in your article. That's why I refuse to use their names. Many of the predominantly black high schools across Detroit and in other urban areas have metal detectors and an attitude of fear. There have been no mass shootings at these high schools. Well, that's because it's fucking Detroit, honey, with an annual violent crime rate of 20.43 per 1,000 residents. Do you know how outrageous that number is? The national median is four per 1,000 residents. There have been no school shootings at Detroit by the grace of whatever sky daddy it is that you believe in. Yeah, you should be scared in Detroit because it's fucking Detroit. Honestly, are you a Poe? Third, we must stop voting for any candidate for any office that accepts money from the National Rifle Association. Stop electing leaders who watch these shootings happen over and over again and do nothing about it but spout condolences. Well, then you've just ruled out all of Congress for the last several years. No joke. Donald Trump was not wrong in his tweet after the shooting, which said, and of course, in a post-2016 election world, we can't have a news article without bringing up the president's Twitter. So many signs that the Florida shooter was mentally disturbed, even expelled from school for bad and erratic behavior. Neighbors and classmates knew he was a big problem, must always report such instances to authorities again and again. There were signs that the shooter was dangerous, signs that were ignored again and again. Trump also tweeted, My prayers and condolences to the families of the victims of the terrible Florida shooting. No child, teacher, or anyone else should ever feel unsafe in an American school. But what Trump didn't do, as is typical, was to go far enough. America can always use prayer, but America also needs leaders who put children before the gun lobby. Trump told children in a televised address that leaders would do anything to protect you. Now America's children will see whether his words have meaning, because school shootings can no longer be treated like white-collar crimes. I'm sorry. White-collar crimes? This fucking article is a fucking piece of work. Holy shit. I'm done. That's it. I have nothing else to say. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry. Bye.